360 million years ago, it was the age of fishes. Land animals and trees had just appeared. Then suddenly, 80% of all species went extinct. Experts have not understood what exactly caused the Andenovian die-off, one of the worst mass extinctions on Earth. However, a team of scientists may have found the smoking gun, an exploding star. Here is what they discovered. Scientists from the University of Illinois theorized that a supernova approximately 65 light-years from Earth triggered the late Devonian extinction, one of the five great mass extinction events in our planet's history. Their explanation was proposed in a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. In the paper, the authors say cosmic rays from the supernova could have bombarded the Earth for up to 100,000 years. Researchers found radioactive isotopes in rocks that could have been generated by the supernova. They also found plant spores deposited in rocks from the Devonian Carboniferous boundary that appear to have been damaged by ultraviolet radiation, signs of an ozone depletion event. The authors hypothesized that cosmic rays from the supernova could have continuously depleted the ozone layer, letting in more harmful UV radiation. In addition, the cosmic rays also bathed the Earth in their own harmful radiation. This double whammy led to the mass extinction. The Devonian period lasted from 419 million to 359 million years ago. It is often known as the Age of Fishes, as fish underwent substantial diversification during the period. However, there were other significant developments in biodiversity during the Devonian. The first insects appeared, and by the late Devonian, forests took shape and tetrapods evolved to walk on land. The study's lead author, University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign astronomy and physics professor Brian Fields, said the overarching message of our study is that life on Earth does not exist in isolation. We are citizens of a larger cosmos, and the cosmos intervenes in our lives, often imperceptibly, but sometimes ferociously. A study published earlier this year also identified ozone depletion as the cause of the late Devonian die-off, but scientists then speculated that global warming was to blame. It turns out, meteors and volcano eruptions are not the only things that can cause mass extinction events. Ozone depletion may have triggered a mass die-off of ancient fish and plants by ultraviolet ray exposure 358 million years ago, according to a new study in Science Advances. Science Magazine reports the research team took a quote, perfect 6-meter-long mudstone-drilled core. Preserved in the sample were spores from land plants that had flourished in the Devonian period, when Greenland was part of the old redstone continent. According to the study, the fossilized spores showed a transition from healthy, normal spores to malformed and blackened spores. The deformities observed strongly suggest the parent plant suffered DNA damage from high levels of ultraviolet B rays. The spores dated to the late Devonian die-off, the second mass extinction in the period that saw the disappearance of many species, including giant armored sharks. The descendants of the surviving bony fish and sharks would populate today's oceans. Importantly, the second wave extinction wiped out the first four-limbed fish that had ventured onto land. This means another group of five-toed tetrapods became the precursor of land animals. Rising temperatures are speculated to be the cause for ozone depletion and resulting UV rays, as the climate was warming toward the end of the Devonian age. Science magazine reports warmer seas caused plankton and algae blooms that would have secreted ozone-destroying salts. Earth's fifth mass extinction, the one that took out the dinosaurs, is probably the most well-known and was also caused by cosmic intervention. This time, the cosmic intervention wasn't as subtle. 66 million years ago, a meteor hit Earth at such high intensity that it wiped out almost all life on the planet. Now, new fossils tell us more about what happened that fateful day. Here's what we know. According to a recent paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, fossils at an excavation site in North Dakota called Tanis show details of what happened moments after the deadly asteroid responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. According to National Geographic, the impact left a giant crater measuring 50 miles, or roughly 80 kilometers wide, and 18 miles or roughly 30 kilometers deep. The collision catapulted tons of molten lava, vaporized rock, and asteroid dust at high speeds. 
The fallout covered the entire planet and led to the extinction of 75% of life on Earth and the end of the Cretaceous period. In the recent study, paleontologists found fossils of fish, trees, terrestrial vertebrates, and marine creatures that had been flung to Tanis in the aftermath of the asteroid impact. These revealed that roughly an hour after the asteroid hit Earth, debris from the collision turned into particles of glass that rained down for roughly 20 minutes. These particles are called tectites and were found inside the gills of fossilized fish and captured in amber from fossilized tree resin. The deposits at Tanis are a result of magnitude 10 or 11 earthquakes caused by the asteroid crash that then triggered large waves known as seiches that sloshed water, sediments, and animals into areas now known as KPG sites. Researchers believe these tsunamis reached Tanis roughly 17 hours after impact. KPG sites are part of the KPG boundary, which is a sedimentary layer that marks the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Tertiary period. According to the study's lead author Robert De Palma, these fossils are a window into the aftermath of one of the most impactful moments for life on Earth. As human beings, we descended from a lineage that literally survived in the ashes of what was once the glorious kingdom of the dinosaurs, and we're the only species on the planet that has ever been capable of learning from such an event to the benefit of ourselves and every other organism in our world. Researchers say they found another nail in the dinosaur's coffin. The asteroid that killed them off hit Earth at a very nasty angle. Scientists have determined the angle of impact for the asteroid that contributed to the dinosaur's extinction 66 million years ago, according to a study in Nature Communications. Writing on behalf of the researchers, Imperial College London says in a news release that the asteroid had struck at the deadliest possible angle for life on Earth. Using geological data from the Chicxulub crater in Mexico in a computer model, scientists calculated the space rock's angle of attack at 60 degrees. The asteroid with its steep impact angle reached sulfur, carbonates, and water deep in the Earth. The vapors and debris were flung into the atmosphere and triggered a nuclear winter that wiped out the dinosaurs. The researchers found asymmetries between the centers of the mountains inside the crater, the crater's physical center point, and the center of uplifted mantle 30 kilometers beneath the surface. Scientists then worked backward to model the asteroid's impact. But hey, thanks for leaving the Earth to us, puny mammals. Paleontologists are still duking it out over what killed the dinosaurs. Asteroid impact gets sole credit for wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, according to new research. Scientists from the UK say the 10-kilometer wide asteroid that made the Chicxulub crater caused dinosaur extinction without help from volcanoes. According to the study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the research team modeled the Chicxulub impact, Deacon volcanism, and combinations of the two. The results suggest the asteroid impact was catastrophic enough to have destroyed the dinosaurs on its own. Deacon volcanism is the theory that a system-wide eruption by India's Deacon traps caused or contributed to dinosaur extinction. According to the models, Deacon volcanism would have reduced sunlight by just 5% at maximum. In comparison, estimates for the asteroid impact's effect is that fallout would have diminished sunlight by 15 to 20%. This figure is enough to have guaranteed the complete complete eradication of the non-avian dinosaurs. The new paper naturally leads to a round of trash talk by scientists. Lead author Alfio Alessandro Chiarenza of Imperial College London said of the volcano proponents to The Guardian, quote, I am pretty sure these guys will not take it easily. Princeton University's Goethe Keller was quoted by the paper as saying, when the basic assumptions of a study are based on cherry-picked data, the results are predictable and wrong. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.